we are going to add and simplify 2x over 2x plus 1 plus 9x plus 3 over 2x squared minus x minus 1. We'll want to start by factoring the 1 on the right so we can find our um, LCD. All right, so that one factors as it's going to have a 2x plus 1 in it as a is a, a strong probability because that's what is over on this side. It's not always guaranteed, but most likely <clears throat> if one of the terms has a uh, factor, well, most likely it's going to factor to have one of the terms on the other side. Um, and then let's see, I think this would be x minus 1, but we've got to check. So 2x times x is 2x squared. And then we have a positive x, 1x, and a negative 2x. So that gives us a negative x, and 1 times 1. Negative 1 is negative 1. So that works. So basically what's missing over here is that x minus 1. So I'm just going to put it in, multiply the top and bottom by it. And then if I distribute the top, I get 2x squared minus 2x. And this is going to be added to the 9x plus 3. Since they have common denominator, we can put it together over 2x plus 1 times x minus 1. We still have some work to do here. There are some like terms. So we have 2x squared plus 7x plus 3 over 2x plus 1 and x minus 1. Let's see if this is going to factor the numerator here. So 2x squared times 3 is 6x squared are there any factors that are going to add up to uh, 7x? Well, 6x and 1x. If I add those together, I get 7x. So we can factor this. Um, the factors, let's see, it's going to be 2x squared. Uh, I can break it down to the plus 6x plus 1x plus 3. And grouping here, I get two, take the 2x out, and I'm left with x plus 3. And over here, all I can take out is a 1, but you have to take something out. And so I get x plus 3 times 2x plus 1. Not surprising because we do have that 2x plus 1 in the bottom there. Um, so changing this to its factors, I have x plus 3 times 2x plus 1 over 2x plus 1 times x minus 1. Well, obviously these 2x plus 1's can divide out, and all I'm left with is x plus 3 over x minus 1.